Hey guys, uh, this is Type What for another daily log. Um, I've been MIA for about a week. Um, it all started with the day I'm about to review and, uh, you know, skipping one day is a slippery slope with all these daily things. Um, I've had a busy week at work, so, um, you know, just trying to find the time. So I'm going to make up for it though. I'm going to go over each day that I missed um, as soon as I can, um, starting with today or the day that I missed that I'm going to go up, cover right now is Super Bowl Sunday. So 2020-02-02. <laughs> um, and so on that day, um, it was, it wasn't a full, it wasn't a, a great day, but it wasn't like a full fall off the wagon day. I just was a little bit out of my normal routine in terms of when I ate and what I ate. Um, so to start off uh, with uh, some of my input, some of my food. So I did do my supplements here. Um, and we started off with a, a non-traditional, non-normal, irregular breakfast, but I'm not complaining. These are, uh, my wife makes these almond flour pancakes. So we had a little bit of something extra to start our day off. We also had company. We had a good friend we hadn't seen in a long time. So he was over. And so we had a little bit of an extra breakfast to start off. Now, this is an almond flour pancake. Um, it's not as nice and fluffy as some of the other pancakes, but it just still tastes very good. Um, and this is Lakanto maple syrup, which is a low glycemic maple syrup. It still does have carbs, so you can't go crazy with it. Um, same with the pancakes, but, um, you know, in moderation, it's it's good. So that's what I had for breakfast. Um, I also had some oranges, you know, the backyard. Uh, we have a tree uh, that's just blooming oranges. It sounds crazy that, you know, this perfect fruit is, is uh, in February, it's blooming. So um, I'm taking advantage of that. I'm doing some of... Uh, some of the the light therapy people say that you know eating locally so that the fruits and vegetables that you eat have been absorbing the same light that you would naturally get in your local area um, so I'm trying to do some of that even though oranges are high carb um, items um, so I have to watch myself and you know if I don't do a lot of exercise with just eating some oranges I, I have to do some insulin for that okay and then I did um, Let's see, I think I did a run between those two. I did a little bit of a run. Um, yeah, I think this was before my run. So I was like, oh gosh, I need to <laughs> do some running. So, and I did take some insulin for that. And I and then I, after my run, I was still hungry. So I had some of these steel cut oats. Um, usually I do the regular oatmeal, but these steel cut oats, even though they take more time to make, um, they're kind of creamier that's how i would describe it it's not real cream obviously but it, um they taste really really good um so it's a little bit of a different flavor than your regular oatmeal and so that was um and then i did my supplements um i don't get sick plus supplements so that was my uh morning for super sunday um shout out to all the chiefs fans shout out to andy reed and um and then we kind of, we, you know, um, we wanted, we were kind of posed the idea of getting uh, some deep dish pizza from this place called Masa of Echo Park. And they, it's called Masa of Echo Park because they have, they make uh, some of their Chicago deep dish with Masa dough. So it's like a cornmeal dough. Um, it's, it's really tasty. Um, and it's a lot healthier than your traditional deep dish um, white flour dough. Um, so, so we we've been we do these on occasion. It's a it's a, they have vegan cheese that they put on it. So they have really nice, really tasty vegan pizzas. I um, mean, the best vegan pizza I've ever had. Um, so we we figured you know it's kind of a pizza type of day with the Super Bowl. So we, we kind of splurged for that. Um, I think I had a little bit of bread here uh, because I was making uh, sandwiches for the kids. So I think that's what that was. More oranges. And this is the pizza, guys. So you can see this is the vegan cheese. It has kind of a lot of tomatoes. The toppings we went with, we tried something new. We did garlic and onion. And so these are like whole cloves of garlic. But since they've been cooked or boiled or something, they're not like super strong. And this is the masa bread. You can see that it's um, it's really thick. So it does have a lot of carbs in this. 
Um, so I, I took my, my insulin for this to, to compensate. But then look at this monstrosity in the back. This is a big, this in the foreground is a big deep dish pizza, right? So this is a big slice of pizza. Um, and it takes up the whole plate, you know, regular size paper plate there. This is a carrot I got the same day from the farmer's market. <laughs> this thing is huge. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I was just geeking out on that. Apparently some kind of Korean type of... Uh, type of carrot uh um, but it it looks crazy it's crazy big um tasted just like a normal carrot um so i had that as my my vegetables and I took some insulin i did three units after that i think later on in the day i, I nibbled a little bit more and a little bit of pizza and, and a little bit of carrots and stuff but that's basically what i ate and my insulin for the day um and if we jump over to our dexcom clarity you can see that I did pretty good. You know, I I got a little bit high here. Um, hold on. January 5th. What? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I had the wrong month here. That's why. There we go. Okay. So this day started with, oh my gosh. <laughs> Midnight, I was kind of high, but I was able to get down, um, down, and then uh, pancakes, right, brought me up, and then you get a little camel back where I, I ran, so I went drop down <laughs> to 151, and then uh, I had my oatmeal, and I went back up, right back up there, um, I had more insulin, and kind of came down, um, I believe I started around here, I started to have the pizza, yeah, I think the pizza came around this time of the day. Uh, so I started having my pizza, I went up a little bit, took more insulin, did some exercise, light, light, light exercises, and then like squats and stuff. And came back and then um, had probably had some more food around here, and then I went up, and you can see it kind of, oh no, it kind of got out of control over, over the night. So, you know, the masa, it's corn, it, it'll hit you for a longer period of time. Um, I don't think I took this, the sufficient amount of insulin for that, so that's what's going on there. Not happy, of course, with that, but it's not a terrible day either. Okay, it's not a terrible day. So you can see I had a little bit of my, my light exercises here before bed, trying to trying to get everything in control here. Um, didn't, and it helped, but it didn't quite work. You know, once, once I'm lying down, my insulin um, doesn't have that great of an effect. So anyway, that's the insulin side of things and the diet side of things. Let's do uh, jump into our experiments here. So because this was, you know, so far away, I don't remember quite everything. I'm gonna do my best guessing here. Um, so I'm gonna guess that I didn't wake up uh, with a lot of energy, but I do know that I had good energy throughout the day. I do remember feeling good about it. I would say, from a fat perspective, I did good in the morning, and I don't think I did good in the evening. You know, I, just because the vegan cheeses has a lot of oil in it, usually. Um, I don't know the specific brand they have. Um, and so I'm going to bet there's just probably a little too much oil in the pizzas that I have. So that's so what that was. Uh, did not take a nap. Um, I don't remember if I wear red glasses at night. So I'm just going to skip all of this. Um, I think I was asleep, though. I think I was asleep before then. Okay, I did do a run. Um, let's see. Did I get a medium exercise? That would be my run. And then this would be my workout, I think. So I did, did do my muscle warm-up then. Um... I did this and this and this. Um, I did this and this. So I did pretty good with hydration. I don't think I did any of my sunrise stuff that day. Um, and do any affirmations that day. I did do these. Hey, you. Centered, bro. Center. There we go. And still not right. Center this way too. There we go. 
Uh, it was good about coffee. Um, I'm going to guess I had hot chocolate there. Yeah, I felt good that day. No stress or depression. Um, I took those and this. This, that was good. Um, Malum insulin usage. Did two. And then three and two. Two, three, two. Two, three. Seven units that day. Did not track my macros or my medication that day. So, um, yeah, that looks like a snapshot of what I did on that day. Um, so this was more of a grazing day in terms of meals. So I, I, it was uh, didn't have like outside of a set breakfast and a kind of a set start to a lunch it was more of a very fluid day in terms of activities and there was food and you would eat when you're hungry and you'd sit and watch the game a little bit or play with the kids when you're not so um i felt good you know i had good family and friends around um during the day i had a good amount of energy definitely was not a draw so that's it's pretty much it for the day um that was for groundhog day February 2nd for the year 2020. Also Super Bowl Sunday. All right, guys. Have a good day.